Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing snippet. We'll be, be, we'll be covering the report drill down feature on the trial balance and income statement report with Sensation Revolution. Now, you may be familiar with the inquiries feature with Sensation Revolution and the general ed module. But let's just recap that particular feature. So under general ledger, I'm going to go to inquiries and specify ledger inquiries. Now this option will allow me to specify a GL account. So let's just say, for example, a specific account, a specific date range. And if I click the view option, I'm now going to have transactions for that account within specified date range. I can then, for example, specify a specific transaction line. And if I right click, I have the ability to use a drill down feature where I can go and view the GL accounts which were impacted by the transaction. And if the particular transaction is a source document, I can use a source option and I'm able to go and drill down to the actual source document that was used to process the transaction. Right, so there we have our source document with details of the transaction. And if I close that option, I can, for example, go to other options and I can follow the same process and draw down to those particular transactions. Now, we have incorporated this type of functionality onto the trial balance and income statement report on version 10. Let's see exactly how the process unfolds. So first I'm going to go to general ledger reports and I'm going to go view my trial balance. I'm then going to specify a financial year and I'm going to view the trial balance for all accounts and I'm going to preview the report. Now, what you notice is that when I preview the report, the debits and credits features are now highlighted in blue, signifying a hyperlink. So, for example, I may want to, for example, look at the uh, sales. So, I'm going to select the sales credits, and that's going to then going to take me into my options, which is going to give me details of all the transactions that make up that value in the trial balance. And what you notice is that we've incorporated the running balance total for ease of use to see the total value of the transactions as also the number of rows that make up that value on the trial balance. And if I, for example, right click, I can once again use a drill down feature. Uh, I've got details of the GL accounts that make up that particular transaction. And if the transaction is a source document, I select the source option and that will then take me into the source document for that transaction. Right, so there's my source document. And if I close the screen and, for example, right click, I have the ability to customize the grid columns. So we do have default grid columns available. However, if need be, I can certainly add additional grid columns onto the grid if required. And I've got my details there. The other option that I also have is the ability to copy to Excel. So you may want to copy, for example, some of the transaction lines or individual lines to Excel. So it's really a case of just specifying the relevant transaction lines, right click, copy to Excel, and those lines can then be added into Excel spreadsheet. Now, what you notice is that we've got the option at the top of the screen that says stay on top. Now this feature really is very useful if you want to, for example, compare certain GL accounts on one localized screen. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to say, stay on top. And currently I'm viewing the sales account and say, stay on top. And I'm then just going to go and move this window slightly. 
And for example, I want to go view, just go oh, slightly, there we go. And I just want to go, for example, look at maybe the stock account. So I've got my stock and I'm going to go to inventories and I now want to do a comparison. So I'm going to just once again, open up the stock account. And what you'll notice is that because I've used the stay on top option, the sales screen or the sales window has now remained on top and I can now view the particular stock account, the same features, and I can view them. And once again, you'll see that the stay on top has allowed me to keep the sales option on top and the other windows will then form the basis that I can use as a comparison. So for example, I may say, right, I've done a comparison with the stock, so I can close that. And then I can perhaps, for example, view maybe the cost of sales. And once again, I've used the stay on top and I can then do comparisons there. So really a very useful way for you to perhaps um, compare certain GL accounts or certain available trial balance from one central last screen based on two windows by using the stand top feature. Right, that's our trial balance. So if I close this screen, I'm now going to go look at my income statement. And if I, for example, go view the report for a certain financial year, go to preview, and then you'll see once again, we also have the ability to do a drill down there. So once again, I'm going to go to my sales. Got my window, I can say stay on top. And then I can, for example, go and view other relevant accounts, for example, cost of goods sold, etc. And do comparisons if need be. So as you can see, the drill down feature on the income statement and trial balance allows you to drill down on the on the on the report values to drill down into the transactions that make up that particular value and then also the ability to go do a source document if applicable drill down to the source and also use the stay on top feature which is very useful for comparisons So thank you so much for tuning into our presentation today. It's over and out for me and goodbye.